So the final day of training, I am gonna be a bit sad I've missed it, but it was a very early start, 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Um, but yeah, we had John again, so John Wilds, who is a, as I've said, a really, really good speaker, really, really enthusiastic about his job, a current franchise all, went through scheduling with us to start with, which doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, but it can make such a difference in your business. I'm sort of trying to condense your route, because it's sort of, I've, I've had a few interviews with people where they're saying they've done 20 odd jobs in a day and when you post something like that online you get a lot of comments sort of saying oh that's impossible we'd be ridiculous like yeah right all that um, but as you get bigger you condense your area uh, so you're in a smaller and smaller space until you can get just down to one suburb kind of thing and if you're working a hundred jobs a week within that one suburb it's not ridiculous to say that you're doing 20 in one day because the, the driving around is so minimal. And it's things like that, understanding where your clients are, certain ones have certain needs, so like you have to be here at 5 p.m. or, or 3 p.m. or whatever it is. Um, and just managing all of them um, and trying to make the best route for yourself. And it's never gonna be 100% perfect, things are always gonna go wrong, jobs are gonna take longer than you think, but it's just sort of, he's putting us into that mindset where we need to be aware and try and do the best that we can in that uh, side of things. So yeah, it was a really, really valuable uh, course lecture thing. <laughs> um, then one of my favorite things that we've done throughout all of training was practical quoting. So that's something which I'm a little bit apprehensive about and I'm assuming a lot of other franchisees are a little bit worried um, is doing your quoting for the first time, sort of figuring out what you think you're worth, what the job that you're doing is worth. John just explained things in a very good manner. Never do something that you're not, you, you wouldn't pay someone else to do for you. Um, because what we're basically doing is saving our clients time. And what that time is worth is a variable that we've got to figure out and what job we're doing so if you're just doing mowing, it's you charge a little bit less. If you're going to be doing gutters, you charge a little bit more, that kind of stuff. Figuring out what each job is worth and what your time is worth um, is really valuable. And he had us, like, because gyms is a massive complex, which has a lot of areas which could use with some gardening work. So John took us around as a big group. We walk over here and sort of, he'd say like, how much would you charge for doing this specific area of grass? Just the mowing, just the edging, that kind of thing. And we'd all write down in our little notepads what we were gonna do. Um, took us up and we did like quote on some gutters, quote on doing the pruning on these particular hedges, like all of that kind of thing. Um, so we all walked around, all wrote down our numbers and then sort of gave us all a pretty good idea of how it all works. And yeah, that was a really, really good exercise. I feel a lot more confident now in what I'm charging, why I'm charging it, justifying it to myself as much as anybody else. So yeah, that's something which I really, really got out of it. Last thing that I sort of want to go Go through is the facilities at gyms and the I've not been staying at the conference center which a lot of people have um, if you're staying from interstate uh, so yeah if you're from interstate you come and you stay at the conference center while you're there um, and everybody that I've spoken to have, t have talked up the facility said how brilliant it is the rooms are wonderful I can also attest to the food is <laughs> really really good so yeah, kudos to the facilities that are available at gyms. Um, and yeah, I've absolutely loved this whole week. I feel ready. I feel confident in going forward. And I know I'm not starting my business immediately, but I really believe that I can do this. And I would feel considerably less confident about all of this if I hadn't done this training course. And yeah. Bring it on.